Hi everyone, welcome to today's new video where I am going to do a whole house end of year declutter. It's been a long time since I actually did a decluttering round. I did declutter a bunch of stuff this year just with the move and everything and I will make a video soon discussing everything that I bought and everything that I decluttered this year. But <laughs> I think it's time because we have been living here for a little bit more than six months now and I think it's a good time of the year to just have a quick look around everywhere, open up the drawers, check in the cupboards and make sure that everything that is here are things that I actually want to bring with me into 2024. It's Wednesday morning and I am a little bit uh, sleepy still. So before I start the decluttering, I think I could use a little bit of energy. So uh, I think I'm going to make a matcha and uh, you know, any excuse to <laughs> make a matcha is a good one for me. So let's do that first. Cheers. So in terms of decluttering, I'm thinking of doing something which I call a lazy declutter. <laughs> because usually when you're decluttering, especially in the beginning, if you haven't had a lot of practice or if you just still have a lot of stuff um, stored in things, it's better, and I always say this, to take everything out and hold the items in your hands one by one to decide what you want to do with them. For many reasons, that's usually better. But today I'm thinking of doing a lazy declutter, which means that I'm just gonna keep everything uh, where it is and look through it with my eyes and only like take stuff out into my hands if I'm not really sure what to do with them or something, because, you know, sometimes it's just easier to know what you want to do with something if you're holding it in your hands. But I do want to do the whole house or the whole apartment in like one session. So um, that's possible because I have decluttered already so much. And we don't really have a lot of places in our apartment where it's like crammed full of stuff. So if you just open a drawer, it's really easy to see everything that's in there in one glance. And therefore it's possible to do a lazy declutter. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. We also have a little storage space downstairs in the building. So I think that's important to mention. Um, it's very small. So uh, we have some stuff stored there not a lot but we have two suitcases we have our air conditioning unit and our like fan that we use in the summer um, so we keep them there the rest of the year and also two mirrors the big mirrors that we had in our previous apartment we decluttered those and we promised them to two family members of ours so that when they have their own space they can pick them up it was that really big round mirror that we had in the previous apartment and also our big standing mirror, both from Ikea. I actually still love these mirrors a lot, but they were just too big for the space. So we couldn't really use them here. So I was glad to be able to give them to family members. And that's all that we store in that storage unit. So everything else is what you see uh, in the apartment. I will walk you through my decision-making process when deciding what to do with them. And just, you know, to give you some inspiration and helpful tips for decluttering some things of your own. I always think that this is a great time of year to declutter and also when the seasons change. So hopefully you will get some inspiration here as well. All right, so it is a bit of a dark day, so I'm hoping that the lighting will be okay in the video. I actually think that this is going to be rather quick because my boyfriend actually cleaned out these cupboards last week and he checked all the dates on, you know, these things, you know, all the herbs and spices and stuff. Same thing here, just a little bit of pantry items that are all still uh, good and not expired. So I'll just leave those be. Normally I would check them all. Here we keep more pantry items and we always do them in these um, big jars because we just don't want to invite any, 
critters or things like that so we always make sure that no one can get into our food but there aren't any things here that I never use or that could be expired so yeah I'm thinking uh, of just leaving this same thing here this is all stuff that we use regularly and let's see what's in here yeah also stuff we always use so <laughs> this is pretty quick yeah this is still fine let's see here these are super old these like shakers back from when we were still um, doing the protein shake thing which we haven't done for years so I very rarely use this but I am going to keep them because they do come in handy sometimes normally I would tell you to take all of this out and really go through it better but now that I'm looking through it yeah there's nothing here that we never use so this is fine too Cutlery and stuff, this is all super old, um, but still works fine, so we use all of this. This is something that we never use, these straws, but we have four. They're not like in the way or anything, and I just know if I get rid of these, next week I'm going to want to like make cocktails for friends or something, <laughs> or like a nice uh, virgin mojito or something where you could really use a straw. So for those rare occasions that I would like to use a straw, I'm just going to keep these because like I said, they're not in the way, but this is one of those things that we really rarely use. Pans and stuff, yeah, that's all still good. We use all of these. My tea drawer, which also does not have anything that I never use or use up, so that's fine too. Then we have two more. Here are actually some things that I do want to perhaps declutter. Let's see. Something back here. These ones we really have not used in years. I'm thinking of letting go of these because first of all, we never use them. And second, they don't really seal your food properly. And then this one we do use. And this one also, the one with the red cap. But this glass bottle... Oh... I almost cannot reach it, wait. <laughs> we have two of them and I'm thinking of decluttering these. So this is the deal. I was so happy to find glass water bottles a while ago and we use these a lot. But then my boyfriend, we had three originally and he had one in his bag, his backpack, which he dropped and the bottle broke into a million pieces. And he eventually had to even get rid of the backpack because we couldn't get all of the glass out. It was just splintered into one, yeah, those kind of small glass shards that are really dangerous and that you can never ever get out like all of them. So that was a huge waste. Luckily the backpack was old, <laughs> but um, now I'm scared to use these glass water bottles and we got a new one. So I'm thinking of decluttering the two that we have left also. Yeah, note to self, don't buy glass water bottles. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Oh, this one. I'm thinking of decluttering this. We got this in Japan, in Tokyo, in 2015, I think. And this um, stuff used to be like coffee brown. And then it had the penguin on the surfboard. And on the other side, it had his little friends. <laughs> As you can see, like this is gone. Um, it's been on, in the dishwasher so often that it's just unrecognizable. And I love this mug so much. I've used it thousands and thousands of times, but just, it's just time for this one to go. So this is what I found. Let's move on to the next part. So people often ask me like, your house is so tidy. Uh, where does your boyfriend leave all of his stuff? <laughs> and I get the question, but actually he's like super tidy as a person. He always cleans up after himself and he's probably even more of a minimalist than I am. <laughs> so um, very luxurious for me, but like I'm gonna show you his closet so you can see what I mean. This is my boyfriend's side and this is all of his clothes, including like all seasons, jackets, loungewear, everything. This is everything that he has. 
even like sporty stuff and like everything is in here and you can see how organized he is his backpacks over there very nice for me that he always keeps his stuff so neat also this is his nightstand <laughs> This is how messy he is, <laughs> not very messy. Just the lamp, the remote for the lamp and his little uh, lenses container, that's it, so. I'm thinking that I will find some things uh, in my closet this time. So when it comes to my closet and my clothes, I don't know, I'm in a phase where I'm kind of replacing some things that I've just had for years and years, either because they just don't work for me anymore or because they don't fit, usually that's the one, or just because they're too old and used up. And um, kind of been doing the one in, one out thing with my wardrobe this year. Something fell and I have absolutely no idea what it was. First up, I have a faux leather jacket that I got years and years ago. It's actually from H&M, so this is not something that I would buy nowadays. Um, I have worn it a bunch, but it is actually a little bit too tight on me. Yeah, the fit is not great for me, so every time I wear this jacket, I feel like a little bit constrained in my own uh, jacket. So I'm thinking of donating this. I kept them up there because I already washed these so that they are good to go uh, once I'm going to donate them in a few days. This is another top. I'm going to declutter this simply because I don't feel confident in it. I don't think that this is the right kind of fit. That really looks good on my body type. I like things nowadays that are just a little bit more uh, like tighter around the waist so that you can kind of see uh, my curves a little bit better because this is really boxy and it just makes me look a little frumpy. <laughs> Next up, we have another top. This is from my office days. It's actually still really good. This was definitely high quality because I have worn these hundreds of times and it still looks, seriously looks brand new. So uh, I'm a little bit sad to let this one go, but it is too big on me now and I feel a little frumpy again wearing this. And also one more thing is that I don't work in an office anymore and I don't really feel like I have enough opportunities to wear this. And the place that I want to donate them to, I know that they are really looking for things like this. It is a charity, I think, called Dress for Success, and they give these clothes to people on low income or people who have a job interview and they need to look presentable or people who have, I don't know, like a high school reunion and they need some new clothes. Um, and I feel like this could be something that you know, can really make someone happy because it is such high quality. And if it fits you, this is a great piece, I think. So I just wanna give them to someone who can get more use out of it than I can. I am going to thank these clothes for their service because I've worn them all so much. And I also have a pair of jeans. This is from Kuyichi and it pains me so much to get rid of this. It's too big on me and the, the style and the shape again makes me feel very frumpy and a lot bigger than i am um, i've tried a bunch of different styles of jeans recently and i found fits that just work a lot better on my frame i think so even though this is a really good pair of jeans still i'm going to get rid of this also right there i also keep some sentimental stuff i actually went through that quite recently so that is fine this is all my uh, sleepwear loungewear again i went through it recently it's not the best anymore, like some things need replacing probably in like somewhere within a year or so, but for right now I'm going to keep these and keep wearing them. I have some knits that I also still all really like. These are all so old already. I've worn these ever since the start of my channel, I think. <laughs> I have the rest of my jeans, which uh, I still really like, and I have my three little bags right here, and they're all still good too. These three summer dresses I'm going to keep, but I'm not sure about them. But the reason that I want to keep them is just because I want to test out and see if I will wear them next summer. So if by the end of the summer I haven't worn these or I haven't been happy with them, I think these might go. This one I actually still really like. I'm thinking of keeping this one, but these two I'm not sure about. This one I'm actually not sure about. Maybe I'll donate this one too. This is a turtleneck from Organic Basics. It is from Tencel, so it's like super soft and stuff. It is a very high quality turtleneck, but I never wear this. I never reach for it. So I'm actually thinking of just letting this go and decluttering it. I'm gonna need to give it a wash. Uh, 
yeah, I find that I, I don't feel like uh, difficult to to part with this and that's not a good sign. You want to like not want to give away something in your closet. So this makes me feel like, yeah, a little bit indifferent. So that's usually a sign for me that, you know, if something is still in really good condition, it's high quality and I don't really feel like attached to it in any way and I rarely wear this. I think this can be decluttered too. And there are some things here that I eventually want to replace with new stuff, but if I do that now, I'm not gonna have any t-shirts to wear. So I'm just gonna go keep going with that one in, one out situation that I've been doing. So for now, these are fine. All right, so now I'm going to go do my underwear and athletic wear and the underwear part <laughs> I'm going to do off camera because I, I just don't feel comfortable sharing my underwear online. <laughs> so um, bear with me, please. And then I'll get back to you once I uh, start the athletic wear section. So I have five pieces of underwear that I'm getting rid of. Let me now see what I got in this. Since I cannot really see like what's in there clearly, I am going to take all this out. So I have one pair of yoga pants that I'm getting rid of. This is so incredibly old. I have used this probably thousands of times and it's just like you can see through it. It's just not good anymore. And I'm the type of person, this is something that I'm trying to change. <laughs> I know like no one's gonna see me work out. I work out at home, so it doesn't really matter what I look like, but I, I wanna value myself more. <laughs> in a way, you wanna be able to wear workout clothing that looks good on you, that feels comfortable, and that is not like ancient and has holes in certain places. So <laughs> I'm getting rid of this. It is time and I did get some new workout clothes this year. Like I said, this is like, I'm easily like 15 years old. So <laughs> I wanna value myself more and I wanna, you know, feel good in my workout clothes, even if no one's gonna see. So this is going to go. This is a top that is super bright, but I actually do still use this, so that's fine. I have a sports bra that I use all the time. What is this? Do I also have this? I thought I had that over there. What's this? Oh. This is a long sleeve and I have a short sleeve there. Okay, a tennis skirt that I'm going to get rid of because I don't play tennis anymore and I don't plan to. <laughs> and oh, same story actually, but then with like longer pants. Again, super uncomfortable, these pants. This is gonna go as well. Another top that I wear all the time. Another top I wear all the time. And then lastly, I have one more yoga pants. This belongs in the category of the first one. This is also 15 years old because I remember I bought these um, together. This is like long and the other one was kind of short for the summer. This literally has, you can see through this. <laughs> so it's just, it has to go. However, I am thinking of just giving this another wash and then keeping it because if it's like super, super cold, sometimes I will wear this underneath my pajama bottoms <laughs> in the winter um, as kind of like thermal wear and that works really well. I actually really like it for that purpose. So I'm thinking of trying it out this winter, not to use as yoga pants because I have better ones now, but um, just to see like if I'm really, really cold, I can use this underneath my pajama bottoms and I don't have to like turn on the heater as much. Um, so I'm gonna give that a try this winter. If it turns out I don't really use it for that either, then I'm going to get rid of this. I'm not really the type of minimalist who gets rid of things immediately after they stop being useful, but I also don't wanna hold on to things that I know I will never use simply because like there's a chance I might use it. So there needs to be like a reason, like with these yoga pants, I'm not just gonna keep them like for random reasons or like, I might want to use them one day, but I'm also not going to throw them away if I do see an option for using it in like a different way, for example. But it, there needs to be like a really concrete idea about it. Otherwise it has to go. So that's kind of like where I try to find my balance between minimalism and frugality. I'm not really like a frugal person, but I also don't want to just throw things out that I might have use for one day, so that's where I kind of just like to find a balance there. All right, so I have five pairs of undies and another shirt, the turtleneck one. And I have one, two, 
three, four pieces of active wear. So that's actually more than I thought I would find in my closet. That's good, uh, good declutter, I would say. I'm going to do a quick peruse through my nightstand, but I'm going to do that off camera too because there's some like personal stuff, medications, things like that. So um, give me a sec. <laughs> All right, I did find two medications that can go, so I'm getting rid of those, otherwise nothing there. All right, next up, I wanna go through our shoes. The top drawer here in the, this is the main hallway, by the way. The top drawer has my boyfriend's shoes. Um, this one has some of mine and, okay. I am thinking of getting rid of some of these, actually. I have some more here, I think, yeah. I am thinking. Of doing this all right this is the deal with these shoes they are really good super high quality comfortable stylish like I have two uh, flats cream one and a black one and I have booties these are from Vivaya and I got these for free a while ago when I worked with them. I still use the other ones. I have a pair of sneakers that I wear all the time, but that's the thing. I really found out about myself that I only wear sneakers or my vegan Doc Martens. And I do wear these, I wear these sometimes and they're great, but I just don't wear them enough. And these are the kind of shoes that I know that charity, the Dress for Success charity really is looking for because they told me. And so I kind of feel like I want to give them to them because I don't really get a lot of use out of them simply because I'm just not the kind of person who experiments a lot with you know their personal style. I only wear sneakers and my Doc Martens. And yeah, like I said, I do wear these sometimes, but I have to like really make myself wear them because otherwise I feel like it's a shame because they're beautiful shoes and they're like high quality and stuff. So um, since I don't really wear them that often, I kind of feel bad about having these just sit here in the, the cupboard um, when I can also just donate them. And I know because they are so high quality that someone is going to be like super happy with these. And that makes me happy. So one of my goals, the things that I'm working on currently is uh, being more like generous and give more. Um, so I think that this could be a good example of that because yeah, they're beautiful shoes, but if I only wear them like occasionally because I make myself wear them when I actually want to wear sneakers, <laughs> it's just a waste to have these, these in here. So I'm going to donate these, I think. Next, I want to quickly take you in here, which is where we have the laundry and just random storage of things. Um, we are going to paint this room, by the way. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna paint it the same color as the office. So I don't know if you can tell from the camera But this is like uh, kind of like a burnt orange. It's actually not like ugly or anything but I just want to give this room a fresh coat of paint and uh, So the office I'm gonna show you the color there actually really like it's like the calming green that I'm always really big uh, fan of as you can see here so we're gonna paint it this color um, just everywhere and I think that it's just gonna look a little bit more like tidy um, Because like the burnt orange and the white <laughs> It's a lot and this room is not like for aesthetic purposes. This is just I'm really happy with this room because uh, like I said, we use it for laundry and um, I have some more stuff here like an extra laundry rack we have our, um, these are our balcony chairs that we use right now and my mop or our mop. <laughs> I can show you this um, thing, but we are gonna declutter it sometime later together, my boyfriend and I, because this has a lot of stuff. Basically, when we moved here, we just dumped everything into this cupboard and it needs a thorough um, decluttering. Like for example, when we ordered stuff and it came with packaging, we kept all of that because we felt like we could use that stuff if we have to sell something and ship it, and then we can use this packaging, like reuse it. Um, that's what we thought. We kept some of our old towels for if things um, like 
a couple weeks ago we had a leak in the bathroom <laughs> that we had to mop up and it was super gross so we could have used like old towels for that i always find it to be quite handy to keep some old towels around we have some lamps that we haven't used basically every time something came uh, like new furniture came with stuff we put it in here into these bins and stuff like all the screws and the extras and just this is a huge mess that we have to get through together so um, obviously this is going to be another day but we are going to do it soon because the plan is to declutter this whole thing so that my boyfriend can screw it together a little bit better because of the move it kind of became a little wobbly and we have to move this around if we want to paint so um yeah that's going to be <laughs> for another day but i did just want to show you like we have a lot of stuff now that we didn't have before <laughs> because we own an apartment now and we have to do our own uh, like maintenance and stuff. So yeah, definitely could use a lot of work just to show you that like our life and our home isn't perfect either, which we're gonna do later. <laughs> then also the bedroom, we're gonna paint this blue and I'm thinking of doing it um, kind of maybe this color like blue, gray, purplish. I'm not sure, like a calming blue. I wanna paint this blue. And the toilet, we are also going to paint this uh, matcha latte kind of green because this is just sad to me. As you can see, we did fill up all of the holes here. So um, this just needs an, a really fresh coat of paint. <laughs> and I also want to hang up some uh, shelvings and maybe some artwork just to, to, I mean, this is, this makes me sad. <laughs> Moving on to the living room area. We have this storage guy here. Let's see what we can find here. This is all my stuff for work. So this is fine. It's my laptop, my hard drive. Uh, earphones, my mouse, stuff like that. This is my boyfriend's drawer. Also looks really neat and tidy. <laughs> this is just the way he is. I'm very lucky with that. <laughs> I'm very lucky with him, like, uh, period. He's a great person. This I actually recently organized into these uh, containers and stuff, so that's all good. All like work stuff and things like that, chargers. This is a uh, rommel, which we Dutchies call rommel, <laughs> the junk drawer. All right, let's see what we have here. Um, this is my yoga blanket. I uh, used to put this in the office next to my other yoga stuff, like my yoga mat and uh, my block. But um, we had two silverfish in that uh, basket a couple of weeks ago and it freaked me out. Um, we have silverfish here, unfortunately. Not like super many, but you do see it like maybe like two a day or something on average. So we have been trying a lot of different things and they all work, but they just don't work to the point where we don't see any of them anymore. So um, I'm kind of freaked out. So I gave this a good wash uh, after finding the silverfish in the basket, but now I don't, I, I'm scared to <laughs> uh, keep it in the basket. So I put it in here because I know that they won't come in here. Before you uh, leave me all kinds of comments, which I always appreciate, uh, we have tried a bunch of like the well-known things, lavender oil, cedar wood, uh, making sure that we are always like really good with ventilating the place. So, you know, keeping the humidity down and um, vacuuming and all the things like we do, we do everything I think <laughs> that you can do. I know everything there is to know about Silverfish now. But anyway, um, I think I'm just gonna put this in the, the drawer back. I also found some greeting cards in here that I'm just gonna keep in case I wanna send anyone a card. This is what I usually do if I'm at a store and um, I really like the store and the owner seems very friendly and it's like this 
single owned small local business type thing but i don't necessarily want to buy anything there i usually buy like a card or two to kind of support them uh, and then when it's someone's birthday or whatever i just i send them a postcard and then i keep them in here so that's where these uh, are from i have some washi paper that came with our tea that i thought was very pretty so I'm going to use this as uh, gift wrapping if I want to wrap a gift for someone. So I'm gonna keep that too. These postcards we bought from Charity um, a while back. So I'm just gonna keep them in case I wanna send anyone a card, I guess. We have our old camera that uh, is my boyfriend's and I actually asked him like, don't you wanna sell it because we don't use it anymore? Um, but he's not sure. So I'll just gonna leave that in there because <laughs> um, that's his stuff. I also have these. I have actually two of these. Let me show you. So these are wooden boxes that my teacups came in. My boyfriend got me a really special handmade Japanese teacups for my birthday. I got two of them. They were like super luxurious uh, and super, super beautiful. So I'm very happy with them and we use them every day, but they came in these boxes. So each cup came in their own wooden box. And I love these boxes. I think they're very pretty, especially the inside of this. But I have no idea what I want to use these for. I just feel like someday I'm going to want to use these boxes for something. So <laughs> that's why I'm keeping them because, you know, this is special stuff. You cannot really find this in like a store or something. You know, this has a story and I don't want to declutter them now because I can't think of anything to use them for when later on I might want to use them and then there's no way to get them anymore. Let's see what we have here. This is an empty box. <laughs> oh, I remember my matcha whisk came in here. Uh, but yeah, this is just a cardboard box. So this is going, this is fine. We're gonna keep that. I have some more envelopes uh, in case we ever need to sell something or ship something. So those are fine there too. And I have one more thing that I'm going to declutter, which is my piano sheet music book from Studio Ghibli. Um, doesn't really make sense for me to keep this anymore uh, since I don't own a piano anymore. <laughs> uh, and I just really want to make someone else happy with this. So this was a gift from my boyfriend. He surprised me with this one day a couple years ago and it, it does mean a lot to me. Um, but I don't want to keep this here and hoard this when someone else could really, you know, use this and love this. So uh, we'll see, but I'll try to find someone who can really get a lot of use out of this. All right, so I found two things in here. Let's move on. Let's go to the office next. I'm not sure if I'm gonna find anything here, to be honest. I actually think not, probably. This is all stuff for work that I do use. This one I don't really use, but I'm going to keep this because it, it could come in handy depending on the kind of video I'm shooting. This is all my Japanese textbook stuff, which honestly I am not sure what I want to do with, but I bought these in Japan uh, and I brought them all the way over here. So I'm not just going to get rid of them. But right now, I'm not really using them to practice my Japanese. I'm using Duolingo now, so I'm not sure. Maybe I'll end up selling these um, because, yeah, we're not really using them that much anymore. Let me just do a quick glance at what's in here. I actually have no idea what's in here. Let me see. Ugh. Oh, right, I remember. This is all so that we don't have so many cables that you can see because this uh, door just closes and we don't really have like any cables out. Um, so that's great, my boyfriend fixed that. These are little stickers that came with this piece of furniture that you can put over these like uh, um, these things. So I'm thinking of keeping these and just using them. Um, some of my boyfriend's video games and what's this? Oh, yes, yeah, controller, charger. Yeah, that's fine. We actually don't keep a lot of stuff visible here because I want to keep the visual clutter to a minimum. So this is all kind of simple. Let's see what's in here. Oh, right. This is my, uh, some of my Japanese tea that I still have. Every once in a while, I will order a big batch from them. 
So this is where I keep that. <laughs> this is from my boyfriend, actually. This is a long story to go into, but let's just say it has nostalgic value. So <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this here. This is his stuff. Um, and I have a card game from Studio Ghibli, which, oh, it's been such a long time since I've seen these. They're actually really good. This is from Totoro. It's really cute. Definitely keeping these. I bought this in the Studio Ghibli Museum in Mitaka, Tokyo. Right. Nothing to declutter here. So now I'm just thinking, is there anything that I forgot? Oh wait, let's do the bathroom real quick. I hope you can see, because our bathroom is quite dark. Uh, I wish they put up some more light lights in the ceiling. There are only three. Um, let's see. I, I uh, gave these towels a once over um, last week, so that's fine. I have some laundry stuff here, that's also fine. These things I um, use to wash my delicates and stuff, just wrap them in here before throwing them in the wash. This drawer is my boyfriend's. This one is mine and I think that there might be some things in here that I want to declutter. Let me see. All right, so I found a few things. This is a leave-in conditioner that I purchased and I did use. So this is like, um, like two thirds gone. I think, and I'm gonna declutter this because I stopped using it. It made my hair really oily and heavy, and um, yeah, I just don't really like it. I don't like the feeling of leaving conditioner in my hair, so I haven't used this in a long time, and uh, it's time to let this go. Just note to self, don't buy any leave-in conditioners anymore. <laughs> and I also found three makeup items that I haven't used in a long time, and I just forgot to get rid of them. So these are two uh, kind of like lipsticks that are kind of dark and I used to use a little bit, but <laughs> it's been a long time. I, I really don't use these anymore. And I had an eyeshadow stick that I really loved, but they stopped selling this color and I'm just kind of sad about it. <laughs> and I've used this up, so it needs to go, but I think I just kind of subconsciously kept it around because um, I cannot repurchase this because they don't sell these anymore and I'm kind of sad about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's time to let this one go too. So these are all the things that I'm getting rid of and it's always amazing to me how much you can find when you just have a quick look through your house, even after all the decluttering that we've done. Like ideally, I would never declutter again. Um, because you only buy things that you keep using and using and most of the time that's true but you know we don't live in a perfect world and sometimes things change and items stop having value or meaning to you anymore so then it's time to pass them on to someone else most of these things i will be able to pass on to other people and that makes me very happy so yeah i think that's it thank you so much for joining me today for this vloggy style uh, end of year whole house declutter. Let me know what your goals are when it comes to minimalism and decluttering in 2024. Do you still have a lot to go? Are you kind of done with the whole minimalism thing? Um, are you still decluttering? Are you not interested in decluttering? Please let me know because uh, you know that information kind of helps me to know what kind of content to make for you. And I always love sharing my own journey when it comes to minimalism and decluttering and just kind of go through like my thinking uh, when I decide to keep something or not. I think minimalism is great because we can all do it our own way and we can find a way that really works for us and helps us to live our best life with less stuff and more things that really matter. So I think that's great. If you enjoyed today's video, it would mean a lot to me if you could give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then if you would do that too, <laughs> because that really helps to support the channel. If you enjoyed this more vloggy style of a video, you're also going to really love the videos that we have on Patreon. I post two extra videos a month over there and they're always just a little bit different. I have some vlogs, tea time chats, we have like deep dives into minimalism, simple living, things like that. So feel free to join us. It's $5 a month. You can join and cancel anytime. And the income that I make from Patreon helps me to keep making these videos on YouTube. So you can go to patreon.com slash simple happy zen if you want to join and you will immediately get access to, I think, close to a hundred videos that I've posted so far. So plus two new 
uh, videos every month. I'm going to go get all of this taken care of. Have a wonderful day. And as always, questions, comments, conversations down below. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you all again next week with a very special video. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, I'm gonna put the mug back, you guys. <laughs> I don't have the heart to part with it, even though you can't even see like the color it used to be. I have such dear memories to this mug. I'm just gonna keep using it. <laughs> Who cares?